Okay, welcome back. Um, this is where I left in the last video. This is the cardboard template I made for the uh, motherboard. All the measurements are done. I'll put the measurements up on the screen right about now and then I will cut it out of acrylic. Okay, so here's the piece of acrylic I've cut as the motherboard tray backplate. Um, just done very roughly by hand, I haven't cleaned it up at all yet. Uh, it's 3mm white acrylic, it's got a white protective cover on it, you can see the colour it sort of is, I've just peeled it back a little bit there. Um, okay, so what I'm doing now is mounting the top radiator. Um, to mount it where I wanted to, I was either going to have to cut the whole top off including the handles and make a new panel but I've decided to just make a bracket for it so I'm using these strips of aluminium I got from a local hardware store I've cut them down um, here's one I prepared earlier I've drilled the holes so basically that's going to be mounted like that and another one exactly the same on the other side which will mean I can then drill holes along here and give me a little bit of extra spacing rather, ha rather than have to have the holes 120 mil wide because the holes 120 mil wa millimeter wide are in the middle of the grill up here so what I'll do is have those brackets mounted on the radiator and then I will have holes drilled along the top here uh, at different spacing I don't really know what spacing but I'll drill holes in this and tap them M4 so hopefully once that's mounted we'll just be able to lift it up and there'll be holes drilled in these will be um, painted white right now um, here's the bracket that I came up with it's pretty self-explanatory it's just two uh, 50 mil wide pieces of aluminium holes drilled there will be hole there will be screws mounting those ones uh, they just need to be countersunk, so I'm waiting on the bolts, but they'll be countersunk and nice and flush. And then this will be mounted up in the wood like this. Okay, so here's the top radiator mounting brackets done. That's the front, as you can see. Uh, I've tapped the radiator out to M4, and I've used some um, M4 button heads in the middle, and countersunk M4 on the edges here because they are flush up against the roof and this bit's got a gap where the grill is. Oh, I think it came out pretty good. Just need to fix up a lot. I made this like this so it's a bit adjustable. That one I screwed up because I drilled the hole in the wrong spot but I'm going to tie it out up a bit but it's not really that important because none of it's visible anyway from the outside or inside the case. It's all hidden behind shit. Um, all I've got to do now is prime it with some etch primer and then spray it white and the top radiator should be done ready to be mounted okay and there she is with the top radiator mounted um, it's only held in by them at the moment by these four screws here but certainly supports the weight there's no flex in it and once I get some decent bolts I'll do all of them um, and it'll be white on the inside so it'll sort of match the rad but basically that's how it looks like that's what it looks like I should say to make some changes again um, if you remember I had the bracket that I made out of 
a five and a quarter inch bay cover to hold the fan in. I've decided to remove that and make my own new one that's going to cover the whole front. So I've got this, I've measured it all up, um, cut it and drill it with the Dremel. And basically it's going to fit in behind there, rivet it in and provide extra support for the radiator. Um, I can do that now because I've removed that panel that I revisited in before as well. It's not necessary. And that's freed up these holes along the side which I can rivet this new front panel to. So I'll cut this up and... Okay, and there's the finished product. Um, I've sanded it down with a little bit of 400 grit sandpaper. It doesn't need to be a perfect finish because it's going to be behind the radiator and fans anyway. But basically, it will be riveted in like that. So this is it with the front radiator and fans fitted. Um, Self-explanatory really. I think it's starting to look good. Um, I'll show you now why I just grab the power supply. It's a Corsair AX860. Uh, this is why I couldn't do the floor plate as one piece, because if that was there, I've, I've cut this to this exact size of the of the power supply, so it fits in. I'm going to have it, sorry, fan up. I've decided. Um, fits in like that, so. It, it's flush with the top of the uh, PCI slots and it slides perfectly into this gap and perfectly into that gap. Um, because of that, it needs to be able to drop in and then slide in sideways. So if I had that there all the time, there's no way to get it in and get it out. I worked that out after I'd made one with this stuck to it, had the power supply in there put the floor plate and everything together and couldn't get the power, si power supply out again because it was without bolts, it was just stuck in there. So I've had to make this bit removable. So if you ever want to take the power supply out, you just remove this, this will probably be held in with two maybe um, bolts. You just unbolt that and you can slide it out, lift it up and pull it out. And then when you want to put it back in, you slide it in, it slides in behind that bit of plastic and then you bolt that back on. Um, once I've worked out a mounting system for that, I'll get it perfectly flushed there so you won't see a gap. But anyway, um, that's sort of what it's looking like. Uh, you can make out the, the back of the bracket through the light, but that's only because the back plate's not on and the light in the kitchen is nice and bright. Um, right -o. This is the rear fan. Um, it's going to be an intake. This is that fan filter I was telling you about, so it's gonna bolt on over like that. And then the fan will be bolted on the back here. I might just do that now. It's just been held on with uh, normal fan screws. Okay, so there it is on its side. What I'll just do now is show you um, why I wanted the fittings on the front and at the bottom. Uh, here's one I prepared earlier. Primo Chill, uh, what's it called? Rigid Ghost Fittings on the Primo Chill Rigid Acrylic Tubing. Um, I will do a sort of mini review and I'll show you how, what I think of these tubes and how they work 
um, probably in the next part of the video when I start bending ones for the tubing and getting a bit more involved. Um, but here's one, like I said, here's one I prepared earlier. It's a little bit of a fuck around to get in there, but basically. Very rough obviously because I'm not doing it perfectly, but uh, I'll just grab the EK Res, um, what is it, and Res X3, that'll just bolt in there, something like that, and I was sort of going for the tube in this cool tube which will look, hopefully will look awesome when it's got some uh, fluid running through it. Um, the pump I'm going to be using is this bad boy right here. Another EK product. Um, this is a, what is it, a D5X top. This is the, I think it's new this one, the clean version. Um, I like it. Uh, basically I'm going to be mounting it uh, this way like that. I uh, haven't really worked out what I'm going to do with this yet. Um, maybe something like sorry, the, something like this. Um, I will just might just screw it on now. This is how I'm mounting the pump to the res. It's a bits power rotary extender in there. For some reason, I can't find them in black sparkle anywhere in the entire world, so I'm using a matte black one for now. Um, and the res will be mounted in like that and I have not worked out how I'm going to mount the pump yet um, I'm gonna have to make some sort of custom mount I do have a set of these little things which are made by alpha cool decouplers it's like two bolts with a bit of rubber in the middle to stop vibration uh, the plan was to mount that off the off the stock base and then you know bolt it down to bolt it to the side panel there uh, but I don't know how I'm going to tackle fittings because because I want that one rigid tube up the front there um, I might have to use some sort of maybe a 90 degree bend and I wanted a drain a drain port or drain system down here so I might have to have it let me just twist this around like this way with some sort of custom mount made or I don't know, I haven't worked out how I'm going to fix up down here yet. This is fucking terrible. 